In this video, I will show you how to create a news app with a search bar implemented. Before we dive into the code, let me demonstrate how the news app with search bar looks like. So you can see in my emulator, there are a list of news which are scrollable and on the top right, there is a search icon. When I click on the search icon, a search bar will pop out. In this search bar, when I enter some characters, it will automatically search for the news that has the characters matched without any button pressed. While the related news will be updated in the list below responsively. For example, when I type in any words, it will automatically search and refresh the list with the related news below. If I clear the search bar, all news will be retrieved and displayed. So this tutorial will be split into two videos. This video will mainly build the entire news app layout step by step from scratch. So if you are new to Flutter, this news app tutorial is friendly to you. The second video will mainly focus on building the responsive search bar. If you are familiar with Flutter, you can proceed directly to the second video. But don't forget to like this video too. Now let's dive into the code. So in my Flutter project, I have only created a simple scaffold widget with an app bar. Another two files that I have pre-created are a news class that used to create each news object and also a sample data file that stores a list of predefined news objects. For tutorial purposes, all the news data are statically created while you can also make network requests to retrieve the data and map it into the sample data file. Now firstly, I will create a new file called postlist.dat. This file will mainly create the layout of the news content. If you are displaying a list that longer than the screen itself, which requires scrolling, it's recommended to use list view builder as it's more optimized than simple column widget. So here I will use list view builder widget and item builder parameter provides a context and an index values. Now in order to display a list of news, firstly, we need to have the sample data in this widget class. So I will create a list of news variable that needed to be passed into this widget class through constructor. Now we have the sample data passed in and the item count for the list view builder will be the length of this sample data that passed in. So if you search and it returns two results, it will build exactly the two results. Now in item builder, I will return a card widget. This card widget provides a nice rounded border design. In the card widget, I will provide some margin values so the content don't stick directly to the border of the screen. Now for the child parameter, I will display the content of the sample data in a column widget. If you remember, the news class that we have created has a title and a body blueprint which each of the class object will have both values and those values will be displayed here. Item Builder provided an index value and that index value allow us to access each of the specific item in the list. Now, I will just add a simple style to the title text widget to differentiate it between the body text widget. Next, in the column widget, set the cross axis alignment to start so that each text is aligned to left. To have a better visual, I will add a padding widget to the content column.
As of now, we have completed the layout widget class. Coming back to main.dart file, in the body parameter of the scaffold widget, add the post list widget. This widget requires a post parameter. Now in our sample data.dart file, I have created some static news data. This is the data that should be passed into the post list widget. Make sure you import the sample data file. I just found out that the parameter and the value has the same name. To avoid confusion, I will change the sample data variable name to post data. So if you see post data in the code, it means the sample data. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, we have created a nice layout that displayed a list of news. This news layout is scrollable too. In the next video, we will start implementing search functionality to this news app by adding a search bar. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.